Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, Sergio from Panic Flip Gaming, and thank you for joining me today in Pinball Tech 101, Episode 1, hopefully uh, a successful series. If you guys like this kind of content, I will continue to film and uh, help you all out. Today I wanted to talk about um, connecting a uh, contactor to a green MOSFET board and into your Pinscape. This is what you see here, uh, 24 volt Siemens contactor little green MOSFET board uh, that could be purchased from AliExpress. I have the link on my visual pinball build. This is what I'm using to control my toys. And then obviously the Pinscape. Uh, this one here unfortunately has suffered, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's faith. Uh, I fried uh, trying to connect some LEDs to it and it didn't fare out so well. So I've had some people reach out to me and, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, ask, um, you know, how to interface um, you know, this little green board um, into your Pinscape and how to connect certain toys. So I just wanted to give you guys a quick uh, a quick uh, overview. So first things first, you're going to notice here, <clears throat> let me flip it around. Um, this is the output side. Uh, you have basically, you'll see here output, uh, this in this particular case, it goes output four, output three, output two, and output one. Um, on this side, you'll have your ground that comes in from your power supply. And on this side, you have your positive that comes in for your power supply. OK, we don't have a, a power supply visible here today, but, you know, you guys are pretty intelligent. You'll get it basically positive and negative from your power supply connects to, to these two uh, pinouts right here on the output side. Uh, on this side, uh, we have basically uh, inputs. We have again inputs one, two, three and four. We have ground and we have VCC. Okay, so we're going to talk about this a little bit later. So, how do you connect a toy um, to this board? So, a couple things. Um, AliExpress now has a new revision of the board. Um, they have, I think, an 8 port and a 16 port that allow you to mix voltages. Um, these ones here, in particular, you can't. So, if you're running a combination of 12 volt and 24 volt toys, where I always suggest is um, use different boards for different voltages, right? So in, in my case, I'm using one board for all my 24 volt uh, accessories. And then uh, I have three other boards running my 12 volt. Okay, so in that particular case, you would have two power supplies, one 12, one 24 volt, okay? So I've already done some wiring here on my contactor. Uh, A1 on the contactor uh, is your positive, A2 is your negative. And so here we go, positive and negative. And so how do we interface this together? So it's very simple. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, see here. We're going to choose output number. Um, well, we choose output number four for simplicity's sake, right? So we're going to unscrew these little two guys here, these little two screws. You're going to take your ground, okay? And you're going to connect this onto your output side okay so output number four let's open up the uh, screw here a little bit more we're going to connect it there you're going to tighten this down again this is just for for visual purposes so and then your positive will connect into your vcc uh port okay so always remember that your positive is vcc and of course i'm trying to do this you know with uh, one hand for lack of a better term, I'll try to film. I swear, you know, the more you guys subscribe and the more you guys enjoy this content, the quicker I'll get paid by YouTube and the quicker I'll be able to afford some real cameras. So now that we have the contactor connected to the um, MOSFET board, how do you connect this into your Pinscape? So it's pretty simple. So if you guys remembered on the input side, okay, just like so, you'll see the inputs here. So we're going to connect one wire into input number four. We have output number four on this side. So now we need a wire into in input number four. So we're going to unscrew this little guy here. We're going to connect this little wire right here. And again, this is for just visual purposes. I mean, nothing, obviously I don't have anything powering this up, but you know, you guys get the idea. And then you're going to take another wire don't worry about the ground you don't do anything with the ground okay 
uh, on this side, let me see if I can hold it up to the camera there. On that side, you'll see the VCC connection. And that's where you're going to connect your other wire, okay? So basically, and you're thinking, oh, it's simple. You just connect the positive because it says VCC. No, nope, not necessarily. Not necessarily, Charlie. Don't get carried away now. So what you have to do, let's screw this down, and I'll show you guys what these wires, where these wires connect to. So basically, now that you have these two wires, what you're going to do is you're going to take your, your basically input number four and you're going to select it or you're going to connect it into an open pin on your pinscape, okay? So choose an open port um, and then, you know, not a PWM port, just a regular port and uh, note which port that is. It could be PT1, PT31, whatever it is, okay? That's going to be critical later on when you um, uh, activate uh, the contactor in your DOF config tool. And that's something that we'll cover in another day. If you guys you know, want me to, I'll make you a, a quick video. Uh, it's pretty simplistic. And then your VCC wire from your little green board connects into your 3.3 um, volt pin on your pinscape. I believe there's either two or three Again, I'm just connecting it here randomly. I don't know which pin this is on this pin skip. I don't have the pin out. But you look for an open 3.3-volt uh, uh, pin, and that's exactly where this wire would connect to. And that's it. As far as connections, um, that's all you would have to do. Uh, then again, you'd have to configure everything uh, via the software with the, uh, the Pinscape uh, config tool, uh, which is pretty simple to use. And then also the DOF config tool again, which I can do a video on. Uh, mo most of you watching this, uh, you know that that are that are somewhat familiar with Visual Pinball will know what I'm talking about. Um, yeah, guys, and that's it. The nice thing about these green boards is they're they're a less expensive option to the Pinscape um, all-in-one, and they do have the built-in diodes as well. So what that means is if there's any sort of voltage spikes the diodes will sort of tame the voltage and it won't let it get to the pinscape and, uh, you know, and, and not fry it. In my particular case, when I was using the LEDs, I didn't use any diodes or anything, so the pinscape suffered, uh, you know, suffered, suffered its fate. But yeah, guys, that's, uh, that's all there's to it. Uh, and again, this goes uh, for, you know, anything you need to connect beacons, a fan, uh, gear motor, shaker, uh, the only thing, again, keeping in mind the voltages and make sure that you keep them separate, um, you know, to each board. And that's it. Guys, if you like the content, please hit the like and subscribe button. Um, as always, thanks for watching and until next time.